working on comparing numbers from zero to 10, you are going to be um, telling which is more and which is less. So I wanted to do a few of the examples that are in your book for you. All right, so this is on page 138 of your book. Um, we are comparing toy, little toy mice to chew toys there. So the first thing we have to do is we have to count each set of objects. So I'm gonna count mice. One, two, three, four. There are four mice, so I'm gonna write that number down and over and down some more. That's the way I make a four. And then I'm gonna count those chew toys. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six chew, chew toys. I'm gonna go ahead and write the number six. And now I'm going to compare them. I'm gonna compare by drawing lines. And I'm gonna draw a line from each chew toy to a, from a mouse to a chew toy. So there I go, I have two chew toys left over, so I have more chew toys than I do toy mice. So I am going to circle the chew toys because those are the what those have are more, and then I'm going to put an X on the mice because that is less, less. So you're going to circle the one that's more. You're going to put an X on the one that is less. Let's do another example. All right. So we've got bird cages and hamster wheels. So one, two, three, four, five, five bird cages. And one, two, three, four, five hamster wheels. So down and around. I'm gonna have them talk to you what you've done. It's a big fat five. I'm gonna go ahead and compare by drawing a line again from bird cage to hamster wheel, one to one. And then I don't have any left over for either the birdcage or the hamster wheel. They are the same. So if they're the same, you're going to draw a box around them. They are equal. They are the same. All right, let's take a look. And you can follow along in your book with me and do these. We're going to compare cats and dogs. All right, cats and dogs. First, let's count our cats. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So around balloon tied to fine. Add that stick. That's number nine. All right, let's count our dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, ten. All right, so we're gonna write ten right there. And now we have to compare them. And it's a little hard to draw these lines. You have to be really careful that when you're connecting them, one cat to one dog, one cat to one dog, the lines kind of go in between on these. One cat to one dog, one cat to one dog. Oh, I've got a dog left over. So when I compare them, I have more dogs than I do cats. All right, so I'm gonna circle my dogs because that's more, I'm gonna put an X on the cat because that is less, that is less. All right, let's do one more. Let's do parents. Now remember, I'm counting and touching as I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight parrots. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rabbits. So make your S, do not wait, climb back up, yep, make that eight. When I connect the parrots to the rabbits, one to one, one to one each time. And this is what I want you to do when you're doing your work. I want you to make sure you're drawing the lines between the objects. Because when you take a test on this, if you don't have the lines drawn, it's counted wrong. So be very careful to follow all the directions. We have exactly the same number, right? They're the same. So we're going to box those. We're going to box those up. Well, we might as well do that very last example. We've got iguanas and we've got snakes. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven iguanas and one, two, three, four, five five snakes. 
So we're going to match those up one to one, one to one, one to one. Oh, we have two more iguanas than we do snakes. So circle up the iguanas because those are more. Put an X on the snakes because those are less. So in your book, you are going to be doing page 141 and 142 and then uploading your work to Schoology.